Is your PC running sluggish or did you download something funny on there and now it won't even boot up? Well, I'm going to show you how to reset and refresh your PC so it's like new again. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna need you to do is head on over to this link. This is the Microsoft official website. And over here, we're going to download the Windows 10 media creation tool. So scroll down until you find this blue download button. Click on it and the download should start. It's a relatively small file, it shouldn't take very long. Once the file has been downloaded, click on it to open it. And once it opens up, it's going to get a few things ready. Then it's going to bring us to this license agreement. Just click on accept. Then it's going to get a few things ready. Then it's going to ask us what we would like to do. Go ahead and click on upgrade this PC now. And it's going to start downloading Windows. Now the duration of this process will be determined by the speed of your processor and the speed of your internet connection. So in other words, this process does take quite some time. Five hours later. Once it's done downloading, it's going to verify our download. Then it's going to create our Windows 10 media for us. And now it's going to prepare and check Windows for updates. Then it's going to bring us to this license agreement once again. Just go ahead and click on accept. And for the next step, it's going to ask us what we would like to keep. And by default, it has install Windows 10 Pro and keep personal files and apps ticked. But that's not what we want to do. So go ahead and click on this change what to keep. And if you click on this, you'll see the following options like keep personal files and apps, keep personal files only or nothing. And this will delete everything. And this is the option we want. So go ahead and click on this option. Now before clicking next, and I can't stress this enough, make sure that all your important files and apps are backed up somewhere that's not on your main hard drive. Because after clicking next, there's no turning back. And once you're sure that you have backed up all your important files and apps, then click next. Now it's going to check if you are ready to install Windows. A few moments later. And once it's happy with everything, you can go ahead and click on install. Now it's going to start installing Windows. Now this process does take a fair bit of time to complete. Five hours later. Once it's done, Windows is going to restart again a few more times and install Windows. And at the end of the process, your Windows will be like new and Cortana will ask you questions about how you like to set up your computer. It's a very simple process, I will not go through it. Now, if you enjoyed or found this video helpful in any way, then I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and clicked on the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications to be the first to know when I post a new video. Also, if you have any constructive criticism or any questions or anything, comment them down below. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.